Greetings one more time. Well, it's going to be a whole lot more than one. But anyway, uh, another video in my five a day challenge. Challenge myself to do at least five new videos every day for at least 30 days. Now, I kind of messed up yesterday. As I've mentioned, I just need to let that go. But it's bugging me. Anyway, um, doing a couple extra videos today and I've added a day on. I'm going to do 31 days now to uh, make up for missing yesterday because I really want to make this happen. I want to make this work five videos a day at least. All right, so this time, if you cannot guess, come on now, corpse. We're talking about corpos. We're talking about the guys, the girls, the people in suits who think they can buy whatever they need, who think they can draw on the power of their corporation to intimidate you, to take whatever they want, they don't, they don't have to buy your farm. They come in with a couple of truckloads or a dozen truckloads of solos and techs and whatever they need, and they take over your farm. They kick you out. You're heading out. You're walking down the dirt road. They now have your land. That's the way it works. That's the way corps go. Most of them. Now, of course, you've got some that aren't so bad, but the primary goal of any corporation is to make money. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself, but the corps in Cyberpunk 2020 tend to be pretty ruthless about it. The people, the executives, the low, all the way from the lowest level in the corporation, the way they promote, the way they get ahead, the way they move on to the next higher position in the company is to make deals, make money for the corporation. More money the corporation makes, the more they make. You know, they, they want to move up to that VP position. The guy that's in the position now needs to be out of the way. Whether he gets promoted or he disappears may not matter. They just want to get the job done. Now, in-game, that might mean you're running a team. You, if you've got a, a bunch of characters in your game that are all, you might have several solos. Maybe you've got three or four solos and a tech and a med tech, for example. That'd be a great group. Then you have a corp. Corp might be the liaison of that team between whoever the corp is, corp is that's sponsoring them, that's to giving them the jobs, and the team itself. Uh, corp might be part of the team might be an NPC that, you know, is just run by the wrath and uh, passes that information along, helps them get what they need, get the funding they need to get whatever the job is done. That's a corp. So you can see it's going to be, corps are going to be, in general, are going to be high fashion, high tailored suits or business wear. Um, maybe cutting edge, maybe not, depends on the, Corp depends on the time of day. You know, a, a corp in the evening is not going to is going to be when that uh, female corp in the evening is going to be in that perfect uh, one of a kind dress if they can afford it, depending on their level. Um, you know, where the the guy might be in that tailored Armani, or maybe it might be the other way around. I don't know. But anyway, look, corps are there to make money for the corporation. That's their job. Do whatever it takes to advance the corporation. That's their job. Not all corporations like that, but in Cyberpunk 2020, that's the point. That's the way they work. So uh, I'm going to bring up a little more information here real quick. Corp special ability is resources, as I mentioned. The ability to call on the corporate resources to get what's needed. You know, um, you need a particular sniper rifle for that team to get that job done. It's going to be the corpse job. Then he, he uses his ability there to call the corporation, to convince the corporation that we need that sniper of how to get it. Now, it might be that. It might be that to get this deal made, he's trying to make a deal with a nomad pack to do some rebuilding project or scavenging or, or um, salvaging or cleanup project, maybe, for whatever it might be, that the corporation wants done. They don't want regular people handling it. They don't want to manage it themselves. They just want the thing done. They don't want to worry about the in-between. So they send you to go negotiate with this Nomad Pack and get the job done. Nomad Pack might need, decide that they need a couple of truckloads of food for while they're on site. That's what they need. That's part of their fee. Then it's up to you to use your resources, make that deal, try to make it happen with your corporation. Anyway, so there you go. Um, the Again, I got to check. Because, you know, I'm not editing these. I'm not going to cut out this time where I'm reading my notes and stuff. I'm just getting these done for you so we can get this information out because I want to move on. I got a couple more. One more? 
<laughs> anyway, uh, roles to do. Then we're going to talk about some about statistics, uh, body intelligence, re reflexes, all those. And then we're going to come back around to skills. We're going to talk about the career skills of each uh, role, how they work together for that role, how that all goes together. Then we're going to touch on a few of the other other skills. There's too many of them. I'm not going to do a video on all of them, but I'm going to touch on a few of the other master from the master skill list. And then we're actually going to go into building a full character. We're going to start from from A to Z, everything you need to do to build a character. So on that point, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of character you want me to build. Let me know what role you'd like me to use as the example. Um, anything you like or don't like, leave it in the comments. But anyway, here I'm going to finish this. I got one more thing. This is the quote from the book. Again. I think they did a great job when they wrote this game in getting this stuff to really get the point down. It's not money. He's got money. He's got a place to live. It's in the corp zone that's protected, that's safe, that's clean, all that stuff. Money's not worth it. It's the power. It's making that deal, getting that promotion, whatever you need to do. There you go. That, that's a corp. Now, there are other ways to play corps to be honest i've not i've only played a couple of them myself i actually ran ahead of real fun time with a group we were of uh, some friends i played a corp as a uh a guy who ran and they ended up in the game who did a, had a bunch of small businesses kind of failed never kind of made it then ended up working with a tech one of the other players uh they'd come up with a new type of uh well, I know it's a new type of ammunition, a new type of gun to go with that ammunition. Formed a new company, was wildly successful, ended up getting in a corporate war with some of the big guys, um, decided rather stupidly to not sell out when he had the chance and get the protection of one of the big major corps, and, um, well, then got killed. Assassinated. That's the way it goes, you know. But it was a good game in any case. Appreciate it. Again, I don't want to mention, you know, I mentioned before, I don't want to mention anybody's names. If you're in one of those groups and you care and you want to be mentioned, hey, give me give me a yell, send me a text, or put just put it in the comments and let me know. But I'm not going to say any, anything about that unless, uh, unless you tell me it's cool. So, anyway, this is great. See you on the next one. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to move on to get on to the... Um, career skills packages and then we're going to go like i said we're, we're stats excuse me we're going to go to statistics then we'll go back to skills and stuff but anyway see you on the next one forget comment subscribe do all the things <laughs>